Hey guys, look what we have here. We got Quill and Quigley in the house. These are 14 month old giant schnauzer males out of our Q litter. So just wanted to give you a little look at both of them. Quill has a little tighter, uh, harder coat and Quigley has a little softer type coat. This is a cross between show lines and working lines. And we've got the temperament of a working line dog with the looks of a show line dog. Both of these dogs are extremely handsome dogs. Once again, you can cut the coat of a giant schnauzer any way you want to cut it. You can make it long and fuzzy, or you can make it short. What you can't do is take a dog with a hard coat like this guy and make fuzzy, pretty legs like this guy. So Quigley has the coat that you can do a whole lot more uh, as far as looks goes. Quill has the coat that you can, you know, wipe off and keep on going. He doesn't bring in so many leaves into the house. So just a little information on hard coat versus soft coat. We don't have any control over that when we breed. They pop out however they want to pop out. For the puppies that we have in our new litter, the C or Charles litter, we've got probably going to have coats of both types. There are only two males in this litter, but they're both exceptional dogs with extremely happy attitudes. They're confident dogs. They're not nervy dogs. There's no edginess in any of these dogs, which is not uncommon in Snellers to be a little bit defensive, a little edgy, suspicious of strangers. Now, once again, these are very young giant Snellers. Once again, they're 14 months old. So physically and mentally, they've got some growing up to do. And they're big boys, and they're very advanced in their training because of the drive that they bring to this. But these both home-raised, professionally trained dogs with a lot of work put into these guys. No two ways about it. So we're going to switch gears here and show you a little bit more about what's going on in these guys' heads. They've got the obedience for days, tricks, because of the mental and physical toughness. And they also have the strong protective ability to do the work of a protection dog. So we'll bring a helper out now, fire him up, and show you they can turn it on. So that's the hardest sleeve we have right there that Eric's got, and we will rarely be using that with giant schnauzers this age. But both these dogs have the prey drive and the balance defense drive and the mental and physical hardness that we rarely, rarely get in a giant schnauzer to be able to do this kind of work. We've actually been able to start doing some control work with these guys, which is really, really rare. We just don't get to do control work, you know, with these guys very often. Yeah. So once again, confident, drivey, very nice dogs. And once again, balanced temperament. Not just prey drive, not just defense drive, but a nice balance. Uh, to that drive. And as we have done with all the giant Stousers we've raised, we've stayed away from military and police dog type training. We've stayed in the just prey drive type confidence building drive work. But these guys got it going on. No two ways about it. <laughs> no doubt about it. Quigley over there is having a coffin fit. He must have sucked up a hairball. Not stopping him much though. <laughs> Rarely do I make a video this long, but the purpose of this video, once again, is not to promote these dogs. It is to promote the breeding. Proof and pudding German giant schnauzers and to promote our new litter, born 1119. So this new litter, I've got more buyers than I have puppies. So there are going to be some really nice puppies, and there's going to be some lucky buyers. Okay, so that was cool. Now turn it off, be quiet, go back to obedience, and be a gorgeous giant schnauzer again. Handsome dogs, beautiful ear and head type. This guy needs a haircut, but you don't have to be a genius to know that's a good-looking dog. 
having a lot of fun at 14 months of age. Quill and Quigley. Hope you enjoyed that.